Now, uh, I want to ask you something. I'm, I'm curious, because uh, I, I, I know a bunch of the performers at Saturday Night Live. I used to work there. And some of them have told me that you're a superstitious performer. Are you? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't like to be, because I think it's, I mean, most performers are, I think. I just have this thing where, um, before, before I go on, I have to, uh, like, light a certain candle with lavender in it, because so, I read somewhere that lavender was lucky. And so I have to light a candle. Uh, so you do, I mean, what, do you carry a candle with you? <laughs> Seriously, I no. mean. No, I have one in my dressing room. Okay, and that's not Live, and you yeah, like that. Yeah, I light it. And uh, it's just a certain kind of nice candle that I get at stores. And sometimes when, when I'm on my way to work, if I don't have enough, I'll stop the cab and I'll be like, I have to run in the store and get the candle, come back, and I put it in my dressing room. And I also have to have, after every dress rehearsal, a little bit of a pretzel with mustard on it. That's why. Are you even hungry no, at that but, point? No, <laughs> no, it's just like a, it's like a ritualistic thing that, uh, uh, I guess I, I'm afraid like if I do get uh, low blood sugar, it'll make me feel good. Like so you need a little piece of bagel and you need like a la to light a lavender candle. Yeah. That's your ritual and it's always yeah. been that way? A pretzel, a pretzel. It's okay. Called, no, just in Saturday Night Live. Right. Yeah. Do you do anything like that? I do stuff, I, I have to, I always have to, just before I come out and see the audience, I have to, uh, sort of just get down just real fast and then pop back up again. Now, I don't know why, but I, I've always done that. Really? Yeah, and I have to get completely nude and then put my clothes back on. <laughs> and sometimes there have been, no, there have been, there have been three shows where I forgot to put my clothes back on. <laughs> and I ran out at the top of the show, hey, and oh got a big God. laugh. <laughs> oh, and, uh, but no, I, I do, I just have to like crouch down. I think a lot of people have like a little thing that they're afraid not to do. I mean, I know, right. uh, who was the guest we had on the show, Andy, who had to walk around a plane like twice before she would get on the plane? I can't remember yeah, who that I was. I don't remember either. Were you reading a Sorry. magazine during that interview? Uh, could be, yeah. <laughs> okay. Did a lot of good magazines out there. <laughs> yeah. You... you don't have to keep them there on the couch, though, yeah? Did you, did, uh, on the National Spelling Bee, they had this little girl, I don't know if you guys saw it, she looked very superstitious, or she looked like she had some kind of, before every word, you got to get a copy of this tape. She would, like, <laughs> say the word and have to, to, like, she had red on She looked like a nut. <laughs> she, she, uh, she was homeschooled. Another person you're hoping isn't watching. <laughs> I love it. Some little girl, can I stay up late and watch Mr. O'Brien? No. Yes, you can tonight. I'm a freak. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was cute, but believe me. I saw that. I saw that tape, though. Wow. That's she a frightening had some thing. rituals. Now, um, uh, but uh, but another thing, um, when I used to do shows in LA, I would um, invite like everyone to my show because I had to, I had to get my own audiences, and um, I would just go and I'd go, oh, if you gotta come to my, uh, I did a stage show with this partner, and I would go into stores and bookstores and then give people flyers to my show, and I went into this one bookstore and there was this girl who I knew through a friend, and I invited her to my show, but she was really mean. She was like a mean, mean, mean lady, and she played uh, the violin, and I invited her, <laughs> and she was as like, she was being mean. Like, <laughs> I'll get you! <laughs> You'll get yours, money shining! <laughs> well, that's an odd image. Okay, uh -huh. But she, like, looked at the invitation, she was like, you, you do comedy? And I was like, yeah. She was like, all right, maybe I'll come. And I left the bookstore, and I was like, <gasps> I had a panic attack that she should not be in my audience, that it was going to be trouble, and I needed to get that invitation back <laughs> and get it out. <laughs> so I went back in the bookstore, and I got the invitation. I said, I'm really sorry I made a mistake, and I took the invitation, and then I went on Sunset Boulevard, and I had to rip it out and do a circle dance and, like, spe a spell and <laughs> wash it away. All that evil energy. Now, why <laughs> haven't, that's the end of my story. Why, why, why haven't you been arrested? I'm just so curious. <laughs> I would just think the police driving yeah. around LA. That, that, You're dancing. Bee, that spelling bee girl <laughs> yeah. is nuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now who feels silly? Huh? That I was, think you learned a lesson about name calling, young lady. That was a crazy time. It was a. I was very sad, and I had right. a lot of superstitious rituals. Exactly. Huh. There you go. <laughs> well, you showed me. You fixed my little red wagon. Okay. Uh, I got to mention this next Saturday, January 10th, Samuel L. Jackson's going to host Saturday Night Live. That's a cool yeah, guest to have. Uh, with musical guest Ben Folds Five. Excellent band. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're in with the kids, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's right, baby. Daddy-o. All right. We're going to take a break, everybody. Thanks so much for coming nice here coming. on this very special Central uh, Countdown time much. zone. Whatever it was, I forget. I forget the premise already. Molly Shannon, everybody. David Tell. Yeah. Coming up.